Turn it up. Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. If we linking up, what we linking up? What time no yeah. sleeping time? I said I had to call him up I made the phone call a deke like what's up Is you ready for war? He replied being ready for war Being ready for a battle with swords And I respect him cause he fought many wars I humble down to what the scriptures say And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way I know it's hard in his walk and they been walking for years So when I weak in the flesh they voice attend to my ears A young man try and soak the wisdom Gain the knowledge, apply the scriptures Wrong decisions leave me senseless Dear Lord would you give me a chance? We all looking for the code to the gate. We all look at how they... Sister, how you doing, sister? How you doing? What's your name? Savannah. Savannah, how you doing? Can I ask you a question? What is your nationality for? I'm black. You're black? I'm black? Okay. What about you? What's your nationality? I don't know. You don't know? What's your nationality? I want to find What's that? I'm part Cuban and African. Part Cuban and part African. So I got part Cuban, part African, black, and I don't know. See the problem there? We should be all on one accord, right? We should all know who we are, right? You know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Now, black is just a color, right? You're not literally black. You're just black. You come from a land called black? No. Nope. So, who are you? I mean, it's like words in scripture. That's, that's, that's right. right. Can, I, can I show you the sign right here? Just let's take a look at the sign. Did your father consider a so-called black man? Nope. He's not black? What is he? Italian? Italian. How about your father? Romans chapter 8 verse 16. Bring it out. Let me show you something real quick. You got a couple minutes for God? I'm tired. You tired? Hey, this will save your life right here. Okay, it's going to save my life. I'll do it for a second. Are you going to listen? I'll praise. I'll praise. Give me three this real quick. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 16. Read out. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. The spirit of this Bible bears witness with our spirit. Read. That we are the children of God. That we are the children of God. Right. So the question is, we come out here to teach our people their nationality. Because I had three different answers. And we're supposed to be on one accord, right? So you call yourself black. Have, have you been called anything else besides that? Any derogatory terms? No? Okay then. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse uh, 15. I'm going to show you something, okay? Get out. I'm going to show you who the so-called black Hispanic native Indians are, Indians are according to the scripture. Okay? Start at verse 1. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because once we come out with three different answers, you know, uh, that's kind of confusing. And this is what this place called Babylon is here to confuse you. I'll read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses spoke to the children of Israel, no one else, okay? Which are the so-called black Hispanic and native Indians today. Read right. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. So we're in the same book, the 28th chapter. Read. And it shall come to pass, Read. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe and to do all his commandments, Read. which I command thee this day, Read. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if, if we cut, kept God's laws, we would have been above all nations on the earth. That's we would have right. the blessings. And at one time, the children of Israel had the blessings. 
Right, but I'm going to show you the flip side of that, okay? Give me verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Three. But it should come to pass. Three. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we did not listen to this Bible and do what it says to do. Three. To observe and to do all his commandments. Three. And his statutes which I command thee this day. Three. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So since we disobey God's laws, we have curses upon us today. Is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing? It is a bad thing. You think it is? It is. Give me verse 63. We're going to prove that a curse is a bad thing. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 63. Read. And it shall come to pass Read. that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good. So at one time the Lord rejoiced over us to do us good because we kept his commandments, the blessings. Here's the flip side. Read. And to multiply you. Read. So the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you. You do what? To destroy you. Read. And to bring you to naught. So since we didn't keep God's laws, he's destroying us now and bringing us to a low state. Don't you see how people are at a low state today? Do they live in the best places in the city? Mm -hmm. yeah. When I'm talking about a nation of people. Some, you're right. Some do. Like some have good jobs and some have good careers. But I'm talking about all these people on this sign, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's How about right. them? But you keep saying some. I'm talking about all. What's that, sister? Why do you think they're comfortable where they're at? Because they don't care about me. They don't know what they're saying. What's that just? They don't know what they're saying. That's all they know. That's all they know. And who taught them that? You said Puerto Rico. Who were they, who, who they before they were Puerto Rico? You don't know. That's a, that's the, and that's the point. That's why I got three different answers. Because Puerto Rico, all it means is a port of riches. Are they a thing? Are they a port of riches? No, they're not. And they say it proudly. Why? Because you said they're comfortable where they're at. It is destroyed in their mind. Right. That's right. That's the history. You can look that up. They got conquered. It was destroyed and brought to a low state. By who? The so-called white man called the Conquistador. And that was the prophecy in the Bible. Give me verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Three. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. Since we didn't want to keep God's laws like the Puerto Ricans, he said, therefore you're going to serve thy enemies. Three. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent them against us? The Lord shall send against thee. The God of heaven and earth sent these people against us. Three. In hunger. Three. In what? In hunger. Hey, sis, let me ask you a question. When you're hungry, where do you got to go get something to eat? Hey, well, who owns those things? People do? Read that from top again. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies. Let me ask you something. You said some people have good things, right, on this side. We all don't, right? So who, do they, who are they serving? If you, if you, uh, let me ask you this. What if you don't pay your water bill? What happens? So who owns the water company? I don't know who owns it, but this is a capitalistic type country wherever you go. So, so you're American, right? You're American? Because I'm here now, right? Just like, are y'all here? Yeah, we're here. We bought a lot. Our forefathers bought over in slave ships. American too? We bought over in on slave ships. That's what they call it. I'm an Israelite. That's right. I'm an Israelite. That's right. That's, right. That's my national. Let me, hold on. Let me say this. Let me say this, sis. You're, you're absolutely right. Just like Paul was a Roman, 
but his nationality is an Israelite. He was right. a Roman citizenship. I have American citizenship. We all do. But our nationality is Israel. That is the right. right point. So let me ask you again. You're American, right? Now what's your nationality? Are you sure? That's what we try to prove to you. Well, let me ask you what, what you, what you call that on this sign right here? It's not just everything, just one. Everything is just one. I don't think something like this. Everybody's just one. Well, who started that? That's the whole point. See, we out here trying to show our people who they are and what's required of them. Do you know, do you want the kingdom of heaven? I'm going to say this. How do you get the kingdom of heaven? How do you prove that you love God? You believe in his Bible? Yes, you just repent of your sins, be baptized, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And what is sin? What is sin? The answer you gave me is not what sin is. It might not be in your opinion, but I know what it is in my heart. And your heart? Okay, then we're going to just show what the Bible says. Read I know what the Bible says. First John. Read. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the breaking of God's laws, his commandments. So now you know. It's not what I say or what I believe. It's what the Bible says. Right. You breaking the commandments right now, and you don't even know that. But, but give me Leviticus 1917. I know. So we're not out here to be hard or anything like that. We're trying to show our people our sin. Watch this. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not. Hold on, hold on. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. 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 Brother, you got a question? Hey, brother, let the, let the man, let the little young man hear the Bible, man. I got one in my hand. Man, I got the one. But you ain't reading it. Won't you open it up and read with us? Read that again. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. No. Thou shalt not hate thine brother in thine heart. So we're not here to hate you, sister. We're not here to hate you in our mind. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So we're here to correct you according to the scriptures so you don't break God's laws. Let's get a law real quick. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And you know. So the sister says she loved God and stuff like that, but we're here to show you how to love God and what you got to do to get the kingdom. Read. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Hold on for a minute. Hey, hey, brother, let me ask you a question. Hey, brother, let me ask you a question. You pull out your Bible and stuff like that. What's your what's your nationality? Come over here, young man. Slide over, slide over. You pull out the Quran. You pull out the Quran. Is you Islam? You Muslim? How you know you Muslim? You believe in what? You a reader? Okay. You been to Mecca? Been to Medina? You know what Mecca? You know the history of Mecca? Do you know the history of Mecca? See, our people don't know the history of Mecca. The history of Mecca is that I, that we was over there in slave ports. Right. Three hundred was sold daily of your people. And you believe you're a Muslim. Give me Jeremiah 3 and 2. Bring it out. Bring it out. Get out. Jeremiah 3 and 2. His brother got a Muslim book, and he don't even know who his nationality is and stuff like that. You are a modern-day slave here in Babylon. Right. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 2. Read. Let up thine eyes unto the high places and see where thou hast not been lying with. Read. In the ways hast thou set for them as they the Arabian. So our people sat for the Arabians, the so-called Arabs, the Muslims, and did what? They was taught by them. Read. In the wilderness, and thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. Jesus and Moses, Jews, Muslims come from them. They just adopt the name. Every man is a God because Go to Isaiah 41. Go to Isaiah. So, 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 so those Bible prophecies, right? Give me Isaiah 41, 21. That's a story. Why that's a story. Tell me about a man. And I can tell Isaiah 41, 21. I can tell you that's the weak. The boy is it. Listen, listen to this, brother. And listen to this. I'm gonna a listen to this, and I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the floor. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 41, and verse 21. Read. Produce your call. Do what? Produce your call. Do what? Produce your call. Read. Save the Lord. Read. Bring forth your strong reason. 
So I'm here so you can bring forth your strong reason. Read on. Said the king of Jacob. Read. Let them bring them forth and show us what shall happen. Let them show the former things. So in that Bible, to, it, what? The book. show us the former things of that Quran. Read. Show the former things. Read. That shall happen. Let them show the former things. What they be, the way consider them, and know the later end of them. So show us the former things that we can consider, and show us the prophecies of the Quran. Read on. Or declare us things for to come. Read. Show the things that are to come hereafter. Show us the things in that in that book you got, the things that are going to come after. Show us the prophecies of what's going to happen to Babylon. Right. Show us the prophecies of what's going to happen to America. Right. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.